So now guys, we're gonna take a look at what we can do with another type of lapel entanglement. Again, always we're starting with our underhook de la Hiva. Let's get straight into it. So just for a point of reference for our viewers, this lapel position was developed off of the position that we know as vice guard. And vice guard is usually when I have a cross, cross sleeve control and I allow my outside leg to go over my partner's arm. So you can see that this is the sort of configuration that we will be looking for. I'm gonna emulate exactly the same thing with the lapel. So I'm pretending that this lapel is her arm, but an inanimate arm. I'm going to go over like this, and this becomes my lace guard, okay? I'm gonna start in my underhook de la Hiva with the lace position. So my intention here is to try and get to the back take position. I have a few obstacles to clear first before I'm able to do that. So I'm gonna use my underhook foot to pummel to the inside, so I have a step from the inside or I can go over the arm and step out of the way. This gives me clearance by the hip line to get to my K guard position. So I'm always thinking about how to weight shift my partner in the most efficient way possible. So with my right foot, I'm hooking outside of her lat, as you can see in this position. I'm going to try and bring my right knee to my shoulder line. So this will create this sense of our centers being much closer together. It's much easier to carry something that's close to your center as opposed to something be further away from your body. You need to use more force, more energy to move them around. So I'm bringing my right, right knee to my shoulder line and also pivoting to my right side. So as I do this, I'm going to pull the top knee to my chest, similar to some of the matrix back takes we did earlier. I'm going to take my right leg out and stuff it into this position. Again, I'm trying to shuck the right knee of Paige back down to the mat. And in this position, as I find clearance, I'm going to punch this across to wrap around her torso, again, guiding her to the back take position. If we go one more time. So again, I'm in my underhook de la Hiva. I have the same side lapel getting my leg over it. The really nice thing about the lace position too, guys, is that when I place it underneath my hamstring, I can actually load the material more by just suspending my hip a little bit more in the air. So again, this is another form of posture breaking. From here, I'm going to clear the arm of my foot, get to my K guard position from here. Again, bringing my knees closer to my chest, our centers are going to align more closely together, making it easier for me to weight shift to away from me, bringing the knee to the chest. I can get to my matrix position. Once I'm here, it's the same hooking configuration that we dealt with earlier in the front, sorry, in the backside de la Hiva. From here, I keep a hold of the lapel, okay? I'm gonna keep pushing forward to get the knee to the mat. Once I find clearance, I come back in. I punch the lapel across. So I have control also of her hip by wrapping around her body. With my right hand, I'm gonna grab the far side collar and again, trying to create that circle that she falls right in front of me. It's a lot of control here. I don't have to rush finishing the back take. I simply get my seatbelt and both hooks in.